Hey guys, on this episode we're finally going to try and reunite the Norse clans once again. Uh, you may notice that I actually have the next map unlocked. That is because a uh, little bit of a recording bug, it got corrupted, I didn't notice till after the recording, so let's do the stage again. It was a nice, short, fun one. Skulls, what did they- <laughs> Treachery. You carry the banner of Falstag, a giant who raids the people in this region. That is why they attacked you. It's an old trick. It's one of the ways Loki gets the Norsemen to fight one another. Who are you? She is Regenleaf, a servant of Odin. She's trying to stop Ragnarok. It was she who sent us to track Gargarensis. That's right. And he is close. There are a few more clans in the next valley. If they still live, we might be able to convince them to join us. We do not have much time. Then we should go. You can leave the banner here. Help us! Yo. The trolls are attacking! Alright, so we have a new hero, Norse hero. She throws javelins and heals like a Valkyrie, so she's actually quite good. And of course we have all of our Greek hero style hero units. Over the caverns where we get most of our gold. Please help us. Our thanks, strangers. Follow us. Our chieftain Blackhammer will want to meet you. Thank you for defending my men. You may use these buildings to ready your attack. Alright, let's get down here right away, because that's where they're gonna attack from. More trolls! Skipan? Look out! Trolls ahead! Skipan! Yao! Okay. Now this actually shouldn't be too much of a problem. Mostly because oh, you move. Shouldn't be too much of a problem because a we're with Thor, so we only need to make dwarves. And b we have our Greek style hero units, so we do a ton of damage to these guys. In fact, if we want to, we can rush it and take out that right away. Now all we have to do is three little missions for the three Norse clans. With the first one, of course, being to destroy this underworld passage that spawns the trolls. Destroy the underworld passage! The trolls are using it to reinforce us! The trolls are attacking! First thing we want to do is we're going to be fighting almost entirely myth units the entire stage. So we're making a lot of heroes. We also want to get a really strong economy. We want to get a really strong economy early on. Uh, there's already an ox cart there. It's only worth a thousand gold. We're going to be mass producing units, so we're going to need that. Also, we can get a dwarf and forge, although I believe he might already start with all the upgrades. I'm not entirely sure. And although we only have our hero units left, that's going to be enough to take care of that, just because the trolls take so much damage from Greek-style hero units. And to get a higher population limit, we simply need to complete more quests, as we can't build any houses, but that'll get us more town centers. Tilbury. Okay, so we can get some upgrades. Okay. That's good to know. Almost destroyed the passage. In fact, just have him focus on the passage now. Doesn't have a whole lot of armor to it. And we've almost destroyed it. There we go! all you need to do. Very easy if you rush it. Otherwise, you'll take a lot of damage because they spawn so fast. The trolls are dead! Our people are free and our minds are safe once again. 
Okay. Now the next stuff won't activate until we find the next village. So now's a good time to start building things up. In which you add. And uh, what's up here? You oh. be add. That'd be useful to save. Didn't even notice them before. You saved us from the trolls. We can help you mining the gold in these caverns. Let's actually switch a few of them to wood. And a couple to food. Actually, let's do three on food. Actually, in general, we could use a lot more food. And we can start upgrading things. Make sure the economy is stable. They also give us their old army, which is nice. All units. Make that join the control group. All the units of the villages that you save become yours. Which means we can mass produce even more. However, we're at our population limit right now. You two were getting gold from that mine? Okay. Uh, you two actually then get you on that. You can build a farm. Those three go help with gold. And just making sure that our resource rates are good. Don't really have anywhere for this guy to go. And... Let's get an upgrade going for our hero units, because that is what we want to mass-produce. In fact, let's have more queued up. So the game will know that that's what we want to make. We don't really need anything else, in fact. And it's a good thing that we have a lot of wood... wood? Nah. A lot of wood and a lot of gold. Because that is all we're gonna need in a moment, is a lot of wood and gold. So, I trust that my economy is a bit good enough for this, although we can go to the next stage. I think we're good enough, though. This second city isn't too hard, it's when you do the push for the final clan is the difficult one. Stranger, help us defend our town by building towers at the flagged site, and we will join you. Okay, so I'm just having the axemen do that because I want all my heroes up front and center for all these all these uh, giants that are coming. Can you guys uh, get aggroed over to that, please. Thank you. Fuck, two damage per hit. Oh, they're uh. Their leader is kind of pathetic. My guys are way stronger than that. There we go. Now we've got heroes going over there. And they just want a tower in each one of these locations. Not that the towers would do much considering these are uh, mountain giants and thus do a ton of siege damage, but still, easy objective. Let's also upgrade these towers, make them slightly more useful, because they will continue to attack here even after we've done this objective. Just not nearly as aggressively. They spawn units much slower after this. I believe they actually have to buy them. In fact, you guys can help with building now. Get a head start on it. Ski pump. Yo. I'm gonna keep my point here for now to keep this city protected. Hey, Lacantos! We Yo, fight for something. you! There we go! Fair is 
suck. Now, if we really want to play this safe, what we do something, something is we can march down here and actually take out the things that are producing the units. Something. This is not a necessary thing to do. However, it makes things a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Suck. Yo. Also, it's nice to do it before they upgrade their towers, which they will do very soon, or at least they did last time I did this mission. So that's pretty important. And of course I want to take this out because this is where they make their ballistas, and the ballistas are really obnoxious. Luckily we've already got a pretty good army. So I turn those guys around to get rid of that, because that's annoying. And we've taken care of any chance of them spamming ballistas. No point taking out these towers if they haven't upgraded them, because it's not like it's impeding you at all. If they've upgraded them, you might as well take them out, though. Only while you're over here, of course. Okay, there. Now we have many more units to work with. Something. And this final push should actually be quite easy now. Yo, something. Come on, army. Yo, something. Ski pump. Yo, Pilbu. Something. Free my daughter from the giants, and my men will follow you. Pilbu. Yo. He also has very, very low attack. Something. Something. Yo. So we need to free his daughter from the giants. Now, they actually have kind of a tough base, but again, with our army of hero units, it's not too bad. Let's just wait for our people to catch up. And all we need to do is destroy that tower. Now, last time I played, they actually upgraded it to, an to a tower that could attack while I was going down there. That was a little bit irritating because their base does have a lot of towers in it. However, um, we should be more than tough enough to take care of it. Yo. Suck. Yo. In fact, if you just have a decent sized army here, enough that your hero units can just rush down there, and by that by hero units, I mean not even Norse hero units, just your regular respawning hero units. That's enough to take care of it, because they don't seem to chase you, and there's nothing but one tower that could attack you there if they've upgraded their towers. Speaking of upgrades, it looks like they just upgraded their walls. Okay, take that out. Take him out. And uh, let's just walk. They do have a completed wall down there, you just can't see it yet. But almost no static defense can reach you once you've actually gotten there. See? So this is actually a pretty easy mission, if you know what you're doing. Fun one, though. I like this one. Nice little mission. I don't know what Arcantos is doing over there. Really low effort one, though. But it's nice to have a few short episodes in a row, considering, uh, normally missions in this game take very long. Yeah, Alright, we can go down there and take care of that now. We're gonna watch the health go down. And I think it's actually a unique portrait for the lady who comes out, and you never get to use her, I don't think. Weird. My daughter and defeated the giants. My men and I owe you thanks. Isn't that weird? Alright then, that's it for that episode. I'm looking at my right monitor. Says it recorded fine this time. Sweet. Until next time.